Hearing from Governor Robert Bentley for the first time since subpoenas went out on his impeachment investigation, the House Judiciary Committee sent those subpoenas out on Friday. They include Governor Bentley and Rebecca Mason. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Oder in Montgomery tonight with us. And Michael, the governor believes the committee may be acting outside of its authority. Yeah, Jim, that's uh, exactly right. The governor believes that that committee voted to give themselves the subpoena power. He says that power does not come from the state constitution. Now, he made these remarks earlier this afternoon after announcing a new council on gaming in the state. The governor says uh, he told reporters that he is cooperating fully with the committee. His office has already sent over 600 plus documents so far. The governor believes, though, that the committee should have everything they need for a reasonable investigation, but the subpoena power they voted on last week has him worried. This should be frightening to the people of this state that a that a committee of the legislature has more power than prosecutors do in the attorney general's office. Because even if I appointed a special prosecutor or even if the attorney general does this, they have to carry this before a grand jury to get subpoenas. So this is a frightening thing for the people of this state. Now, Governor Bentley says that he's also turned over 35,000 documents to the Ethics Commission. He did that last month. He says that the House Judiciary Committee is, quote, acting absolutely unconstitutionally by issuing those subpoenas. Live in Montgomery, Michael Luder, CBS 42 News. Meanwhile